So we won the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. We're trying to get to the FA Cup proper, of course. Uh, we just had our draw, and I couldn't pronounce the team name because it looks like Luz or Luez, but it's actually pronounced Lewis. Never let it be said. I don't try to educate myself. I went on Google and I did a Google pronunciation, and it's L-E-W-E-S, and that's Lewis. Not in my country, but we'll go with it. We will go with it. Uh, so at least I've learned how to pronounce Lewis. And uh, that's who we drew, drew in the uh, third qualifying round of the FA Cup. So that's who we're playing today. But let's roll the intro. We'll come right back with highlights of our match with Chippenham. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode four of Play the Kids, our FM21 save that we've just started recently. And you can see Williams gets us off to a flying start with a penalty. Wilkins with a cross, White heads it in, and Williams is there to catch it in the air and put his second in on the counterattack. Chippenham, Sloan would get beaten and Wise would put it in. Sloan has been a real problem for us. He's really the only left back we have, and he has been practicing horribly. Look at Cook, wide open. Oh, and Evans picked him out, and Cook puts it in. What an attack there. That made it 3-1 in the 93rd minute, and we dominated this game. Very, very good performance. Uh, but hey, you know, also just a reminder, Hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe to stay up to date for daily Football Manager content here on the channel, Monday through Saturdays. And uh, we currently have two saves. We've just started the save here with Tiverton, and this will be the save that we will hopefully run through the end of the FM21 lifespan and see how far we can take them. Just a reminder, this is a combination of a director of football and a Youth Academy challenge. Uh, so if you're curious as to what the parameters are, go back and check out episode zero. Uh, I will put the link in the description. I guess I should have done that from the get-go, but uh, I will try to remember to put that in the description of the video below so you can go check that out. Pretty quick review of how we're going to set it up. Uh, we have had a signing here recently. Our director of football brought him in. Uh, so you can see we uh, we talked last episode. We had brought in several loan players, uh, but we just brought in Rudy Haycock from Bognor Regis, or Regis uh, on a free. He is a 32-year-old striker. Now, typically I have an apathy against signing 32-year-old players, but he is the third best striker on the club now, and he can finish, unlike one of our better young players. So he is going to be our new new depth there, and uh, that's what's going to happen. So taking a look at the schedule, we hadn't advanced anything since last episode uh, because we beat Yate uh, in that one, uh, Chippenham. So we'll be back for Lewis right now. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently in fifth position, doing pretty well. They want us to be competitive in the FA Cup, and we are already up to 60%. So. We have uh, really impressed. And let's see, Lewis is in the Isthmian League Premier Division, which is below us, I believe, since I can't click on it, right? Uh, so that means it's non-playable. So that's down in the like 11th tier area. I think I've, I've played that league before with uh, the plus 11 uh, database that, that's up on uh, SI. But anyway, uh, let's get to the match and let's play some football in this one. So we're playing Lewis in the FA Cup today. We're going with a different tactic. The reason I'm switching to this, and you guys know I love two strikers up top, but I want to try to do something with Evans. Uh, if we take a look at our stats right now, He's playing regularly, but he's playing out of a, out of position a lot. 
and we can't he's not a good finisher but he's one of the best players on the club uh, so we certainly want to try now this puts cook on the bench who has seven in nine i would like to maybe let's see if we can train him into another position all right let's see so yes that's good so let's go ahead and see if this tactic works or works for us. And the reason I thought about that is I was like, we got an offer for about $4,200. He didn't really want to go. And I looked and I said, you know, this is one of our best players and we're not doing anything with him. All right, let's encourage him. Bliss Cotterell. Brings it up the side. He squares it. Oh, there was a shot by Bissix in the midfield. All right, that's a good header by the defender. Poor, poor ball there. Damn. Over the top. Williams is on to it. Takes a touch, but I don't think he had a very good angle. I mean, you know, I think he was far enough out. He should have done something with that. But he failed miserably. And who got that? Christian Simmons, his first goal of the season off the set piece. And we've taken a 1-0 lead over Lewis. And that is a good sign. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Hello. He's going to be sent off there for a two-footed lunge. That's got to be a red card. Yep, son of a bitch. That is not good, fellas. I think I bring Luca Frazier on there. Bring him back. And we go that route. <laughs> and I think we're going to come off of attacking and just drop to balanced. That's a shot from the edge of the box. We needed to do better than that. I cannot believe we had a sending off there. That was a horrible looking tackle. Now, of course, had that been Man United, we know that that never would have been called. That would have been perfectly acceptable. VAR wouldn't have even looked at it. It's just how it goes. Williams is there, and he rounds the keeper, his 14th of the season. Bissix with the assist, Williams with the cartwheel, and we have made it 2-0 Tivies. Liking that. Uh, very defensive, no. But you know what? We can now drop back to maybe cautious. I think that could be a thing. Uh-oh. That's not good. A oh, good save by Murphy. All right. I do want to try, let's see, out of possession. Let's drop you there. Just kind of condense our players. It was a little more shape. Oh, also regroup. Yeah, let's hold shape as well. And let's start slowing the pace down. Not time wasting. Just when you have a, you know, the goalkeeper gets, you know, gets on the ball, throw in corner, you just kind of milk the clock a little bit. Uh, okay, and offsides. I was like, why did Murphy just let the ball go? All right, let's praise the team here. Forty third minute. They must have a small roster as well since they're not taking off injured players. Uh, nice little touch on that layoff pass. Blocked away by Bea. He gets it out to Bliss Cotterell. Oh, so he fights through his, the tackle. He's into the box, and he takes a crack. Leskinen has to knock it over the bar. And we'll get the corner out of it, so that's good. Praise that effort. 
and it's headed clear. Nobody in the mid there. Oh my God, Greenhoff, he just sat down and he is hurt. He was the one that was already injured that we looked at a minute ago. Uh, but he stays on. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a good well he he didn't save it. Um do we not have any players on the bench? I'm I'm just curious why they have not subbed that guy off. I have no idea. They've got to take him off in the second half, right? Keep it up, keep him motivated. And let's uh, encourage him. So, we've slowed down a lot, only 6 shots. All right, I'm not liking, well, I mean, we're doing okay with this. I mean, usually in this tactic, I would usually either have the attacking mid-center or I'd have a deep-lying uh, defensive midfielder, one of the two. All right, let's uh, Sloan. I would really love to get him off, but I don't have anybody to go out there. Marking, tackling. Yeah, he just doesn't have a whole lot. Not a whole lot. You know what I could do? Bliss Cotterill can play sort of, sort of. Let's move him back. Let's move Wilkins over because he's either. And McCauley or Corbett. No. Why are we doing that? I'm thinking Adam Rowe. That's who I'm thinking. All right. Oh, Williams comes back and gets the ball, but he is surrounded. Lays it off to Simmons. Over the top, there's Bliss Cotterill. Oh, and he's taken down in the box. Williams is going to line up to take the penalty. And if we knock this in, we could steal this game. Oh, right down the pipe. Leskinen cannot make the save. Number 15 on the season for Williams. I'm really missing Cook on the field, though. But the only way to get him on is as a striker. All right, let's... Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, all he can play is striker. He can actually pass the ball. He can cross. We are trying to train him. Where am I trying to train him again? Attacking right. Okay, let's... Um, you know what? Let's let him play over there. Let's put him in. We're up 3-0. We can rest Wilkins and just give him some match time. I agree with that, but there's nothing we can do. But we hold on and we make it look easy. 12-10 uh, to 10 on the shots, but we had a 2.07 to 0.74 XG. And that was even playing a man down for most of 72 minutes. So that was excellent. Outstretched arms, a good win. Uh, I do want to you. How do I talk to you? Can I not talk directly to him? Individuals, yes. There we go. You. Talk to you. Uh, point the finger. Disappointed. And inspired and motivated. All right. Well, that is, you know, you have to have that talk, right? That was just horrible. We had a ghostly 3-0 victory up there. Thanks again to Sean Murphy, uh, one of my friends and channel subscribers, for getting me the uh, kits and the badge. They do look great. I'm very happy with it. We got s almost 17,000 there. Uh, he gets an automatic one match suspension. There's no sense appealing that because I thought it was crap. Uh, and we're going to put the arm around him. Superb. Get him to very positive. All right. Well, let's see. Where do we come back now? My wife, uh, we got our second COVID shots yesterday, and I'm, I've got a sore arm, but my wife is actually coming home from work, and she's sick. She's running about 102 fever and uh, just feels like crap, so she's 
having kids get her crackers and Sprite and putting them up in her room so she can go to bed. All right, let's come right back. I suppose we have to keep going in the FA. So we'll come back uh, in a couple of matches for East Thur Thurrock highlights and whoever we play in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. I thank you so much for coming by today and checking out the video. And uh, hey, we'll see you next episode. Hit that like button. Uh, that's the only way I ask you to support the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date for daily football manager content. And I love seeing comments from you guys. So if you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Much appreciated. Have a good one.